The Inspector General of Police, John Martin Zokoth, authorized serving his second term in office and a contract meant to expire in March this year. However, from the group veins, Ochola has not notified his line Minister of Internal Affairs of his expiring contract as required by law. The reigning IGP last expressed interest of willing to serve his second term when in November 2020, when he wrote to the then Minister of Internal Affairs, Jeno J.J. Odong, about his expiring first contract as IGP. The appointing authority and commander and chief of the armed forces considered his notification and renewed his contract for the second term. The police spokesperson Fred Nanga confirms that Martin Ochella's contract as IGP will expire on the 4th of March 2024. However, the renewal of his contract for the third term in office lies with the appointing authority and the commander in chief of the armed forces. Uh, the person of the IGP must be somebody who is very competent in leadership and also administration. Uh, it is therefore not a position that is lobbied, but instead eligible persons are thoroughly and vigorously vetted by the police authority and the names forwarded to the appointing authority who is the commander-in-chief of the of the armed forces, that is His, his Excellency President. As the fate of his third contract hangs in a balance, within the top echelons at the police headquarters, the debate is raging on who is likely to take over from him. Among the 13 career top police officers at the rank of Assistant Inspector General of Police, AIGP, among the prospective persons for the appointment of the IGP position are Francis Xavier Rego, who is currently the Interpol Special Representative to the African Union, Abbas Biakagaba, the Director, Counter-Terrorism, Joseph Mugisa, Director, Fire and Rescue Services, John Ndoku Sengaruye, Atachi Uganda's High Commissioner to Nairobi, Grace Akulo, Director, Interpol Uganda, Erasmus Twalhuka, Director, Human Resource and Legal Services, Others include Moses Bialhanga, Director of Health Services, and Haruna Isabidi, UN Permanent Officer in New York. I also think that you can lobby His Excellency the President to appoint somebody as the Inspector General of Police. I think you're very, very wrong. This is work for the police authority, and uh, they know what they are doing. Let us wait until the 4th of March to see whether we shall have the same Inspector General of Police or a new Inspector General of Police. However, other career police AIGPs include Richard Yediego, Director of Logistics and Engineering, Charles Bilungi, Director of Welfare and Production, James Ochaya, Director of Research and Planning, Johnny Nwajira, Director of Operations, and Fadil Kal, Director of Field Force Unit. Nonetheless, there are five military generals currently serving the police who can also be appointed as IGP. These include Major General Kasigas Tumusimi, who is currently deputizing Ochola, Major General Abel Kandiho, Chief of Joint Staff, and the former Chief Spy at the Chief Tainance of Military Intelligence, Brigadier General Christopher Damlida, Director Crime Intelligence. Others include Brigadier General Jessica Mnanwili, Director Human Resource Administration, Brigadier General Godfrey Golova, Director Human Resource Development, as well as Major Tom Magambo, heading the Criminal Investigations Directorate. In his six years tenure as IGP, Ochoa has been deputized by three high profile military officers, namely, Major General Sabit Stephen Mose served as Deputy IGP from the 4th of March 2018 until 16th December 2020. Major General Mose replaced Martin Okoth Ochola, who was promoted to the Inspector General of Police. Prior to his assignment as Deputy IGP, Sabit, at the rank of Brigadier, served as the commander of the Military Police of the Uganda People's Defense Force. Sabit was replaced as Deputy IGP by Major General Paul Okech. Economic hub that Al-Shabaab had been using 
to raise funds or revenue to support its operation, and that was Bakara. Paul Okech was a senior military officer at the rank of Lieutenant General and was appointed Deputy Inspector General of Police on 16th of December 2020. Between November 2017 and December 2019, Lokech served on special assignment to monitor on behalf of the guarantors of the South Sudan peace process, the assembling, screening, demobilization, and integration of the armed forces of South Sudan. Before that, Lieutenant Paul Lokech served as Chief of Staff of the UPDF Air Force for a period of five months from 11th of July 2019 until 11th of December 2019. Lieutenant Paul Okech served as Deputy Inspector General of Police for a period of eight months from 17th of December 2021 to the 21st of August 2022 when he mysteriously scammed to death associated to a blood clot. When we came to this theater, it's a bit difficult because we are fighting in a build-up area. So the best we had to do was to adapt. Currently, Major General Tumusime is the Deputy IGP since January 2020, Kasiga is a Ugandan military officer and diplomat. He is a major general in the UPDF. Prior to his current assignment, he served as the deputy commander of the UPDF Air Force. Kasiga had previously served as the defense liaison officer at the headquarters of the East African community in Arusha, Tanzania. In case Ochora is reappointed for a third term, he will then be the second longest serving IGP in Uganda's history after General Edward Kaleka Ehura, who held the docket for a period of 12 years. Abdul Nasili Lubwama, so you be seen.